Late last week, the fall color was really starting to pop across the region, but now, as we should be witnessing peak or just past peak colors, things look a little glum. Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Travers has more. While we've had ideal fall day and night temperatures for colorful autumn foliage, the recent weather patterns over the last two weeks have dampened what should be peak color. Fall colors popped in some areas, but overall weren't as good as what we've seen in previous years. This can be largely attributed to the dry weather of September and October. So we were over like a month and a half of really dry conditions. We had the perfect, I would say, weather. We had very warm days and cool nights, which helps to initiate that fall color but we just didn't have the moisture there. So a lot of trees were starting to drop prematurely and that's what we kind of experienced uh, these last couple weeks. The windy conditions before Halloween caused a lot of those dry leaves to drop and then the heavy rains of this past week intensified the decrease in color. We have a, a maple right outside my building that years a couple years ago was a full golden color by this time. It was beautiful and last week before the rain, uh, I saw spots of color, you know, there was some yellow hues there, but uh, with uh, the wind, with the dryness, and then that now last, uh, this earlier than this week's rain, it's really dropped quite a bit, so it's not going to have that beautiful full golden color I'm so used to seeing. But if you haven't had your chance to take a fall drive, there's still some pockets where the colors may still look nice. And it's also important to note that there are still some plants like the ginkgos, which show great golden color that are just starting to change. So for some plants, they're just starting to hit that peak time. Reporting in St. Louis County, I'm meteorologist Jamie Travers.